Hi, my name is Dr. John Biard, and I want to talk to you about the difference between omega-3 fatty acids or fish oil and krill oil. You know, we've heard for years that omega-3s are beneficial for your skin, for your heart, and for your brain and nervous system. Those benefits are well documented. Recently, we've been hearing a ton about krill oil. That krill is the newest, greatest oil. Krill are little tiny shrimp that are abundant in the very, very cold waters in the ocean. They're really the, the food of the whales. They are so abundant that when you look from satellite photography, you can see the schools of krill in the oceans. They're very, very cold water little fish or animals, and they have shorter chain fatty acids than the regular anchovy sardine fish oil. So they function differently. The omega-3 fatty acids that we all think about when we think of fish oil, they use um, their active ingredients are what we call EPA and DHA. The EPA oils are great for inflammation, the DHA good for the brain, and the benefits are phenomenal. The krill oil, interestingly, doesn't have that much EPA or DHA. We all, it was thought that that's why the krill worked. It was a better source of the EPA and DHA. Well, it's not. It takes about 30 soft gels of the krill to get what you need, which is about 2,000 to 2,500 milligrams of the EPA and DHA combined to get the benefit. So you need 30 pills of the krill to get what you would get in a couple of capsules of the fish oil. Really not cost effective to do that. The studies show, though, that the krill has a different target organ, and that seems to be, and I don't think this is the limit of krill, but this seems to be that the, that the krill benefits our joints. It heals and repairs the cartilage of the joints and takes inflammation away from the joints. So krill, not fish, supported the benefit of inflammation around the joints by about 40% in one study and decreased the C-reactive protein, which is an inflammatory marker for joint pain, in the joints by about 50% in another. But the fish, and not the krill, actually decrease the inflammatory cytokines which cause heart disease and skin issues and, and uh, inflammation in the rest of the body. So the fish seem to be, the fish oil seems to be specific for the skin and the heart and the brain, and the krill very specific for the joints. Now, the mechanism for the omega-3 fatty acids is the EPA and DHA, it's well documented. The krill mechanism is at this point unclear, hasn't been discovered. There isn't enough EPA and DHA in the krill to actually deliver the same benefits. So they're just different. So if you have an issue uh, with your joints, then 300 milligrams of krill a day added to your fish oil is a really wise move and would probably deliver great benefits. Um, if you have <clears throat> other concerns, you know, you want cognitive benefits. Uh, studies have shown with omega-3s that, that people with depression have significantly less omega-3s in their brain. People who have um, uh, high levels of omega-3 in their blood have a 46% reduction in, in metabolic syndrome risk, which means abdominal obesity, abdominal fat, obesity, uh, lowering high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, blood sugar issues. These are risk factors that really affect all of us. And in another study, which is amazing, is that the omega-3 fatty acids, when they're optimized in our bloodstream, actually reduce the overall risk of premature death by any cause by 85%. That's just a huge number. So it is really hard to dispute the benefits of taking our high concentration, molecularly distilled, purified omega-3 constant uh, DPA and DHA fish oils. Those are, I think, really, it's hard to ignore the research. The krill, on the other hand, seems to have significant benefit for the joints and our joint health. The combination of the two may be what you need, or you can pick and choose based on, on your needs. Uh, there is lots of the research and the, and, and, uh, uh, that I document in the article associated with this video, so please take a look at that. And thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Duyard.